Oh God, when will I ever build my own house? When will I ever buy a plot? When will I ever buy a car? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. When will I ever acquire wealth in this country? When will I ever be self-sufficient? Oh my God, I've worked for so many years. I have nothing. I don't even own a plot in this city. I don't even own a car. I don't even own anything. Oh my God, have you forgotten me? These are the questions we keep asking ourselves. But I want to tell you something, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you ever scratch your head. Don't you ever. Don't you ever worry because God's time is the best. God's timing is the best. You see this day that you woke up today? I'm telling you, you don't know how this day will end. You just found yourself waking up. But do you know there's somebody who, who has your back? Do you know that God has got plans for you? He who gave you bread this morning, he has got plans for you. You'll not even know how he affects his plans. But in one way or another, God affects his plans. So why are you troubling yourself? Why don't you wake up and do your part? What is your part? I want to tell you what your part is. Your part is to waking up and telling God, here I am, here I am just as I am, O oh Lord. I thank you for the good night's sleep. I thank you for the night that you have seen me through. And this is a day that you have made for me to rejoice and be glad in. Tell him that. When you tell him that, leave everything else to him. Leave everything else to that God. That God who knows everything. Leave everything unto him. Because he tells us not to trouble ourselves, to not worry about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your requests known unto me. Make your requests known unto God. Yes. Why are you troubling yourself? You woke up. Did you give yourself the breath? You didn't. It is God who gave you the breath of life. He who gave you the breath of life knows how he will maneuver your life. This life is not ours. It belongs to him. This life is not ours. Yes. In fact, the Bible says once we are born again, it's no longer I that live it, but um, uh, he, Jesus, he who lives, uh, but God lives in us. Yes, it is not us who live it. God knows us. He knows us. He knows everything that we require. The only thing that, um, that you need to tell God is make him known. Let, let him know your request. Make your request known unto him. So I'm here and you're wondering where is she going with all this? I'm going somewhere. And this place is making God know your requests. If you don't make God know your requests, how will he know? Okay, he knows everything that we go through, but he still tells us to make him uh, know our requests. So, um, tell God that God, you know, you know, you know. You see, you see, you see. I need you to, to show me the way. I need you to, to tell me what I should do. I need you. I need you in my life. Tell God. He needs you to tell him. You are not telling him because he doesn't know. You are telling him because God needs to hear it from you, that God, I commit my life unto you. Lord, I'm looking upon you to show me the direction in this life. Lord, I'm trusting upon you. Lord, my life is in your hands. Lord, my children's life are in your hands. Lord, 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 I need you to order my steps. I need you to show me the direction in this life. I need you, I need you, I need you. Yes, we have to tell God that we need him. And if we tell God that we need him, God is so merciful that he'll not leave us, nor forsake us. He tells us that, that he'll never leave us, nor forsake us. Have you ever seen one who has been forsaken by God? Even those that sit under the bridge, they still wake up in the morning because God, God gives them the bread of life. So guys, that which is troubling you so much, if you have not told it to God, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What time is it now? What time did you wake up in the morning? From that time that you woke up, have you just been keeping quiet with your problems and you're not telling God? Wow! Why? Why are you carrying burdens when God has told us to, to bring everything unto him, to tell everything unto him because he cares. He tells us that he cares. So now, if he cares, why should I care? If God cares, why should I care? God cares about me. He's the one who created me. He's the one who has, who has, who made me. He's the one who knows what about my tomorrow. You know, I may be planning about my tomorrow and maybe I will not be there tomorrow. I may be planning about my next year, how I'll buy a car, how I'll buy a house, how I'll build what. But God knows maybe I will not be there tomorrow. So he who knows the secret of my life, he who is the giver of life, let us just uh, uh, leave everything unto him and tell him, Lord, have your way in my life. Lord, 
this is what I require, this is what I need. Provide unto me, Lord, you know, you know I need this house, I need this home. Lord, you know I'm this, years, uh, this number of years old and I need to retire. <laughs> I need to retire, Lord, where do I go? I need a home. Lord, you know my children are in school, I need school fees. Yes, the idea here is to tell you to pray, 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 pray. Praying, telling God is praying. You have to tell God through prayer. So whatever is troubling you, I don't know why it is troubling you. Tell God, and when you tell God, in fact, leave everything unto Him. Start thanking Him. Start telling, telling God, thank you. Thank you that I've made you know my needs. Because you now know them, and you are going to act upon them. You are going to answer my, my, my prayers. You are going to give me the desires of my heart. Thank you, Lord, because I've already informed you. Thank you, Lord, because you already know what I need. And because God knows. Imagine, He's not human that He'll say, ah, that one I'll not give, and this one I'll give. No, because God knows. He will give, supply all our needs according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. That is what He tells us. He'll supply our needs, our needs according to His riches in Christ Jesus, according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Imagine the riches that our God has. He's just waiting for us to, to trust Him and to be. Do you trust any, everybody with your secrets or with your problems? There are people who can, you cannot even want uh, them to know your problems because you don't want them to know. But we, when you, you tell somebody your problems, it's because you trust them. Imagine you going to tell somebody, imagine me, I didn't eat last night. You cannot go announcing to everybody. You can only tell somebody who, who you trust because you know this person is not going to speak it out there and tell other people. But this God of ours is telling us, make them known unto me. So when you tell God, you are trusting him with your problems. And when you trust God with your problems, I'm telling you for sure, he will never let you nor forsake you. He'll answer your, pro your prayers. So thank you guys for listening and for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Do not trouble yourself. Leave everything unto God and subscribe. We we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.